Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to the Scarland Fishing Cabin Project, where we are going to work on a swimming pool, a very beautiful and modern swimming pool. Because what Scarland house wouldn't be complete without a swimming pool? So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scarland, and it's always great to have you here for another super awesome build. And we're just taking a look at our previous episode here where we built this amazing storage room with these hidden chests designed for our boats and our fishing poles and all sorts of other great stuff all set up in here. So we have completed this area. Now we still do need to build the uh, piston door right here, but haven't had a chance to work on that yet, but this room's complete. We have uh, finally completed the crystal cave and the boathouse, all looking super snazzy. It's been a little while, a little bit bigger project than I anticipated in the beginning for the boathouse house but I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. Do you think it was worth the uh, the extra time and effort and resources we put into it? You know, to create the cave and the crystals and different things like that. I think it is. So let me know. Was it, was it worth it? Because I, I hope it was. All right. So in our last live stream, of course, we uh, built this little uh, river through here. We added lots of new plants and trees up here looking super snazzy. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter to be notified when the next live stream will be going up. All right. So our next project here is, of course, course a pool because what awesome house wouldn't be complete without a pool it's like building a kitchen without a milkshake maker it just doesn't make sense all right so let's get right into it we're gonna get out our dark chocolate here and we're just gonna start going so we're just going to work on the pool deck at the moment so we're gonna get the pool deck all kind of fashioned up and then we'll work on the uh, you know the pool part you know get the pool water in there and stuff I think that's probably an important part that you need to work on so I'll bring this across here. Actually, I think it'd probably be more economical to do it down here. There we go. Perfect. Get that along there. And yeah, I love making pools. You know, I always make them for houses because I just love pools. It probably goes back to, you know, I spent my entire life swimming on a competitive swim team. So, you know, I just got pools, you know, built into my, uh, my DNA, I guess, here. So I'll put that right there. Wonderful, get that across here and bring this one over here. If we can click it, there we go, and boom. Once again, we created our little pillar along there. Jump up here and let's just top these pieces off here. There we go, get that on there so that'll look snazzy. There we go. We'll get those other ones on there in a moment. Um, I think I'm gonna expand the deck just a little bit more. So I'm just going to expand the deck just a bit more here. And let's see, let's see. I think I'm going to make this spot where we're gonna have some lounge chairs. So let's just uh, make this spot just a little thicker because then we could do some lounge chairs. So for the, uh, the terraforming in this area, as you can see, it's all uneven, it looks awful. But um, this weekend, I'll probably do a few live streams on getting that all together. So instead of me doing that all off camera like I usually do and people are like, oh, Scar, I wanted to see that. Now I do that mostly on live stream so you guys can uh, kind of uh, watch along and, you know, take part in it. And we have a little fun conversations and different things like that. So I'll probably, you know, kind of scale down this mountain a little bit and create some cliffs up there. I think that'll look nice when we finish that up. There we go, just a few more pieces, just a few more, there we go, perfect, wonderful. All right, awesome. So let's get out our stairs here, not stairs, <laughs> carpet. Carpet is one of my favorite blocks. Currently, stained glass is my favorite block, but carpets are pretty close too, just because of the, um, the small micro details you can add to it, which is just amazing to your build, you know, when you're working with these types of blocks and the little intricate little things you can do with it. So awesome. Okay, wonderful. We've got a base built. Let's do some double checking here to make sure we have our proportions all lined up and ready to go. So let's get that out once again, because of course we forgot this line right here. Awesome. Oh, this one just seems like it's not as far out as the other one. Is it, are we good? No, we are, we're good. We're good, wonderful, perfect. All right, well, there we go. Give me one second, guys. Let me kind of catch my breath and then let's get this pool all finished up. All right, welcome back. There we go. So I took my medicines and made a slight adjustment. So right here, I added an additional row of dark chocolate here 
and this section right here, I pushed it back one. So this part with the uh, andesite pillar and the carpet, I moved it back one. So it is back one. So from here now, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good. So we got that all taken care of. And let's see, let me remove that and get out our milk chocolate. And let's see, I'm going to go from under here now. Let's see, I'm going to go right there. And I'm going to start to pull this across. So this is going to be pretty cool. So it gives us quite a bit of uh, contrasting colors and different things like that. For the interior of the pool, we'll do quartz. And on this edge right here, at least what I'm hoping for is to create some form of infinity edge. So something you might see in like the, let's see, like the Hollywood Hills type houses where they have, and I don't have any stairs on me, which is amazing. But um, you might see it like in the Hollywood Hills and uh, they have it, um, you know, like the water will kind of flow off the edge a little bit, looking like it just kind of goes down the cliff. It's super cool. Um, let's see here. Something here, and there we go. Perfect. I got everything I needed, but the one thing. All right, let's see. Um, get that out. Wouldn't it be cool if you know, like in creative mode, where you can, um, you know, mouse button, you know, one of these guys, and it'll, you know, clone it into your inventory. But it would be cool if it actually pulled it in survival out of your main inventory here and put it in your hotbar instead of just you know if it's in your inventory it selects it but i think that'd be cool if it did that all right so we got that set up wonderful we are moving along like pros today unbelievable all right so now we're gonna go under here and we're gonna start to run these pillars out like so there we go and we'll clear our scaffolding out we'll leave our workbench just in case there we go. So now we gotta figure out how deep we wanna make this pool. That's the question, that is the question. So let's bring this piece out here once again. Nice, 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 all right. And let's see, Not this pool is not gonna be super deep. This is more kind of a relaxing, kind of decorative pool. Unlike, you know, the uh, modern house where we made a super pool, but this is more kind of a kind of relaxing pool to kind of uh, take it easy. You know, some people mentioned there is a giant lake next to us, um, but that water's cold. That water's cold. This is kind of a nice, warm, relaxing pool to uh, kind of, uh, you know, just relax in. So that's kind of why I decided to go with the pool here because, you know, like I said, once again, you know, no building's complete without some pool or milkshake makers, different things like that. So, all right, so get that across here and clean up this area. My Thunder Mountain pick is about to wear out. So now I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the tree farm to fix that, we'll do that later. Wonderful, there we go. And we'll run this out like so, there we go. You know, you know, this would be a lot better if I would have done this in half slabs. It would have saved a little bit of resources. I might do that after the episode. I might come back in here and uh, knock out some of these blocks and do half slabs on them just to save some resources. So I might do that. All right, just doing a quick overview look and make sure everything's all lined up and ready to go. But look at that. It looks like the s'more house. This is literally the color palette for the s'more house. This actually looks delicious. I would love to take a bite of it. So give me one second while I take a bite of this and I'll be right back. All right, got some extra supplies here. I got some water buckets and possibly we might do something with that glass, but we'll see. So let's head out of our temporary storage room. And yeah, look at that. Our pool is starting to look pretty cool. Looks exactly like the s'more house, like I mentioned before, which is kind of funny, but let's um, get started here. One of my favorite color combinations in Minecraft to kind of throw together and stuff. So I'll put that right here. We need to add that extra layer of dark chocolate up there. And then I'm gonna swoop under here and I'm gonna bring that around like so like that there we go like so I think that'll look cool let's um let's see no that's unnecessary okay perfect um, and I also did add the um, let's get down here so you can see it I added the half slabs under here and under those ones so that'll save a bunch of resources so that's good okay um, let's see let's bring this around here there we go um, how far can we continue this to go? Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we can actually bring this out all the way. There we go, make this pool super big. There we go. 
and bring this like so there we go so i'm sorry i took so many breaks you know just kind of a little out of breath today a little tired so trying to do my best trying to do my best making these videos a little early this week because i have a few doctor's appointments this week to take care of so getting a few videos out a little earlier getting it production done on these there we go all right um let's see i might want to raise this up Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. This part is our, part of our live stream, so I don't want to do too much terraforming yet because I want to save that for the live stream. Let's see here. Let's kind of come over here and let's build that up a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. I was, was hoping that this would be a little higher up, so this would be a couple blocks up, but unfortunately it didn't, but... Ah, that's just the nature of building and survival. You don't always get what you want, but try what you can. All right, there we go. Um, let's see. I think, I think that's good for now. Okay, wonderful. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to decide how this part will look when it's complete. Just trying to give it a little bit of perspective. Okay. Well, let's not drown ourselves. But there we go. Okay, that's kind of what I had envisioned for this area. Okay, perfect. All right, infinity edge, infinity edge is the question now. So I was thinking we could do something like this. So option time, everyone. So we could do something like this, where we have this kind of glass, you know, opening leading down, which might be kind of cool. So we'll see about that. Um, I'm trying to think of any other options. What we could do is we could do glass and then maybe a half slab on top. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do for the edge. If you guys have any awesome ideas, definitely let me know. Um, where did my dirt go? Apparently, I don't have any dirt left. So I need some dirt to fill this pool up with. So let's fly on over here and get some dirt out. So project-wise left for this is the rope swing bridge across there. Um, some landscaping out in the front. Oh, perfect. Here we go. And um, yeah, so still some landscaping. We need to build the... Uh, the uh, snow-capped mountains and stuff like that. So just a few fun projects left, but for the most part, it is almost done. And it's super exciting to uh, finish up this project because it's taken uh, quite a bit of time, but a lot of a lot of fun. This project has been a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite things built in Scarland. I just love the design of it. If I uh, won the lottery, I would probably build this house. So if I ever win the lottery, guys, this is the house I'm going to build, and I would probably build it. I'm trying to decide where I want to build it. So this is a lot. So this is a cabin, fishing cabin type thing. Um, so I'm trying to decide. Maybe like Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Maybe I really like that place. And we drove through it one time in the middle of the night, but it was really cool looking. Um, where else? Where else would this house be awesome at? Um, Columbia Gorge. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let me know, guys. Where would you build this house? So if you had uh, if you had uh, limited resources in real world and you wanted to build this house, where in the world would you build it? There's some places in New Zealand I would think of building it. Um, right next to Yosemite, that would be super cool. Um, yeah, lots of cool options, lots of cool options. I want to hear what your guys' uh, thoughts are on that. And look at this, we are almost complete. We'll just clear out all that dirt. We've got our infinity edge lined up here to kind of create that modern pool feel looking super cool. There's still a lot of uh, like terraforming work to kind of go around this to encase that, but we'll be doing that in the live stream, like over here. I'm feeling like a cave and something along those lines on that section, but um, yeah, so let's put our finishing touches here. So let's get out our lounge chair. So let's see, where would we put a lounge chair? Let's see, let's see. Let's do one like right here and let's do one right there. All right, so we'll cut that out. Cut out our chocolate and put our vanilla in. There we go. And let's put our vanilla in here. Put that. Oh, hey yo! All right, I I need to go up there. I need to get back up there. All right, let's get that. No, no, no. Yeah, like I was saying, um, I think I was in the other epi or the previous episode that if uh, <laughs> if if my life depended on a parkour challenge, like some type of arena challenge, it would end so badly. 
<laughs> I'm the worst at parkour or jumping in Minecraft from one thing to another. <laughs> All right, well, there we go, guys. Look at this. We have created one super awesome pool. And um, yeah, looking really good. So now we just need to work on the landscaping around here, build up the cliffs and add plants and trees and different things like that. But we have one really awesome pool. As you can see, I did move the barbecue over just a little bit to accommodate the uh, staircase. And um, yeah, look at that. Looking really, really cool. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you believe that we do deserve a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Creative. They like survival. They like, you know, a kind of a combination of what I like a little bit. You know, just a little bit of everything. You know, survival, building, and mini, game, mini games occasionally. Something along those lines. I think... That's kind of where I at least fall into uh, my love of Minecraft, you know. I think everybody, you know, even just artists, you know, they have fun making, you know, artwork for, for my, 